Hello everybody, welcome to Bonita Springs. I'm Gady and with me is... Jose El Gran Rodriguez. Okay, we are going to explore Bonita Springs today. The parts that flooded during Hurricane Irma and we are currently in a flood zone. Yeah, so between uh, Bonita Beach Road, Interstate 75 and Code 41, the Imperial River, a beautiful river, winds its way through Bonita. Unfortunately, it floods horrendously after hurricanes, so we're going to take you through the area that flooded the worst. 2017, Hurricane Irma. Came through. And these were the neighborhoods that got flooded the worst. I wish you guys saw they've been covered since then. You can't even tell, really. 2017 was a very difficult year in my life. This area that we're entering now, water was to the windows. To the walls. Well, that house is still boarded up. Uh-huh. That house is uh, I mean, It's crazy to think of well. real estate prices in Manita that there's still a boarded up house. That's kind of interesting. Because the windows came to the walls. Mm -hmm. To the windows. To the walls. Okay. Flooded out and broke your house. So these houses here, some of these houses here had water all the way inside of them. And you see they built that one up really, really high. Yeah, the new ones that are going in are super high, but that's because yep. you know it's a flood zone. Yeah. yeah, they don't want the water to go to the windows to the walls anymore. Mm -hmm. I guess by the amount of cars that are out here, this is probably all like 90% spending. there's a little dip on the road here so this is a uh, imperial and it's about four or five feet higher than the grade of the road so the water just rolls into that street yeah so you can see these big ditches here and the imperial river is up ahead you can see the dip on the road up ahead that's the imperial river and they've actually sold houses back in here for three four hundred thousand dollars and i've always wondered yeah. People who bought these houses, if the realtors alerted them to the situation, yeah. and the realtors knew. And they flooded over they there. Tell the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a house here on the left. It's a really old historic house, and I saw it for four weeks. The house was in the water. Yeah. that have bought these properties I've always wondered if you know, people have paid four hundred five hundred thousand dollars for houses back here if they knew that how how bad this area flooded their time the realtors told them that's why we say anytime you purchase a house in Manita or anywhere in Florida you need to look at flood zone maps mm -hmm. this was literally a river for weeks on end For sale right here, and I would wonder if you were to call that company and just ask the realtor if this area floods, what they would say. That's why you. You know what they would probably tell you? Yeah. Oh, the house was remodeled in 2018. Oh yeah. <laughs> So by owner right here. Everybody's as effed as you are. 
Catherine's a great ethical realtor. <laughs> yeah. This house is still boarded up. You can still see the water line. Look. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Crap, you can literally see the water line. Take a screenshot when I get up over there. You can see the water line. Yeah. Literally, you can see it. You can literally see it went to the windows and the walls. Crazy that you can still see the water line right about there. Yep. Right through there, you can see the water line. This one never recovered. Mm -hmm. And if there's another one, it still won't recover. Mm -hmm. And that's not how high it got. That's where the water s stayed for a long time. Mm -hmm. It probably got way higher than that. So I had a friend that lived back here. He said he fixed his house, and from the you know the, the first flooding, he fixed the house. I'm surprised there's not homeless people living there right now. And you had to fix it again. Three months later, then the hurricane Irma came, so they had to do it you know back to back twice. Uh -huh. Beautiful house right here. Look at this one. Yeah. If you are susceptible to mold or anything like that, make sure you get a mold. Well, just mask. look at the grade. Look at the grade of these new houses. Look how high they are. Yeah. Look how high they have to build these new houses out here. But it doesn't matter. You're not going to get to it. Yeah. Even if the water doesn't go in your house, you still got to get in the neighborhood. Can, yeah. They got a canoe right there. <laughs> they got to figure it oh, out. Oh, they, they gotta... figured that one out quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, if I could just swim to the canoe, we're good. lift on the side of the house. Yeah. Maybe put the bottom on the roof. Oh yeah. But yeah, this area got really, really yeah. bad. I know you're probably annoyed with it by now, but it went to the windows and the walls. Yeah. And we ain't kidding. <laughs> this was like a lake. Mm -hmm. This road you couldn't even get on this road. Because even this road was covered with water. Dip right there, so you river, right? And that neighborhood was flooded as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this over here was like a lake. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was like Lake Imperial. Here's a Lake Imperial. Mm -hmm. The Imperial River comes through here. Mm -hmm. And it's actually got, and it was worse because they did the, you know what I think caused it? Of course, they never wanted to admit it. Mm -hmm. When they made those fire lanes out by East Bonita. Exactly. That's what made. Yeah. That's what exaggerated the flooding. But the, the, you know the, the, the these people, what they should have done is that they should have sued the the Florida uh, what they call the people that own the water, the water system, the, the Southwest fire. Florida Water Management. Yeah. I would have sued those people because those firewalls that they made is what sped up the water flying through here. Mm -hmm. If they hadn't done those firewalls over there in the, out, out in East Bonita, this would have never flooded yeah. like that. You try to help one problem, you create another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, those engineers are never going to admit that. Mm -hmm. But uh, somebody who's very familiar with this area, we know. We know. Oh, I know that, that those fire those firewalls were like they're like they're like I don't know. It's wider than this highway. They basically made like these expressways for water which were supposed to be firewalls in a protected area in East Benita out by the Cruz Swamp, which supposedly if it's a protected area, why are you out there knocking down entire Lincoln Rivers? Es amiga, wey, corre! That wasn't nice. That kind of, the police in Florida, after what happened in Tampa, they're gonna start um, 
the police, they want to do what they did in Arizona, where the cops were able to arrest people. Mm -hmm. Because now the, the, the cops, if they arrest you, they, they can't really do anything. They have to turn you to ICE, and sometimes ICE doesn't even accept them. But they're trying to make Florida like Arizona or Alabama, yeah. where where the police will be able to catch you on the street. And... Yeah, it's crazy. With that thing that happened in St. Petersburg, where the guy ran over the cop and then fled, yeah. the, 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 you know, the, they're gonna make a big deal out of that. Well, it's like first it was all Mexicans here, you know they got that they all left. Now it's Guatemalans, so now they're gonna get rid of the Guatemalans. And the minute the Guatemalans leave, another group is gonna come in right behind them. Always. And there's always somebody filling that gap. It's like this city used to be like mostly Mexican. No, mostly Mexican, but like 30, 40 percent Mexican. When that whole thing happened, all Mexicans left. The Guatemalans came in. Now, they're going to get rid of the Guatemalans. The minute the Guatemalans start leaving, a whole other group will sneak in. Yeah. And it never ends. You know, when they start going after one thing, it's like, that's how it's been here. And, like, like I thought when all the Mexicans left that the property values were going to go down. <laughs> but as soon as the Mexicans left, the Guatemalans moved in. It's just that at the same rate the Mexicans were leaving, the Guatemalans came in. And it's going to be like, now if, let's say, they start going after the Guatemalans, at the same rate the Guatemalans are being expelled, they might bring Haitians or some other group to fill in the gap. Like, it's never, it's a never ending cat and mouse game. But we're kind of driving parallel to the Imperial River. It's a never ending cat and mouse game. Most of the bomb ones I met here have been great people. Oh yeah, they're they're. I still really stay in touch people. with some yeah. of them that, that I've worked with over the years. Mm -hmm. I stay in touch with a few of them. One of them is like pretty much a friend, a real close of this friend at this point. Mm -hmm. He's been in the United States so long; he even speaks English perfectly. Yeah. But he says, "Nope, I am not going back. I'm an American." <laughs> I'm yeah. Like, a, a what? I'm an American. I'm <laughs> like. Uh, 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 <sighs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. He's been here so long, he doesn't like it. He doesn't even like his own people. Like, he'll see his own people, like, start talking bad about him. Like, oh, yeah. you know, you're, you're kind of like. You're one of them. I think if you've been here, like, for. 15, 20 years. Yeah, you should be able to stay. I mean, if someone was born over there, but they were brought over early, mm -hmm. and then, you know, it's you're they're like, they've been here 30, 40 years. I mean, that should just be, you know, they don't well, know the other place. <laughs> but then again, how do you, like, spend 30, 40 years in a place and not figure out how to be there legally? Yeah. That's kind of an even more complicated question. Yeah. It's just like, how do you live in that much informality in your life? I'm not sure how I could do it. Yeah. Like, I, I'm the type of person that always tries to do things correctly. Mm -hmm. Some people just don't give a crap. Some like, I know, I've live. known people that have been here. Yeah. I know people that have been in the United States legally. Mm -hmm. Entered the country legally. Yeah. Let their residency expire and never renew it. How did you not renew it? They just don't. Wow. I've known people like that. And at the end of the day... This is a great place to live. It's safe. Oh, wow. Look at the murals. You, you ain't seen those murals? I, I, I saw them probably once, but I haven't seen them like that. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll pull up a show. Yeah, I've known people. You've known them. I can't tell you who they are on camera, but I, I've known yeah. people that have come here legally. Actually, I know several people who this happened to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They come here legally. Mm -hmm. They never renew their residency or... They never even apply for a residency. They come here legally and they never finish the paperwork and they become illegal. And then somehow they're still here. You know how hard like some of these people risk their lives to come here legally yeah. or illegally? And here's somebody who comes here legally and all they have to do is pay $600 to register the paperwork 
Just say the $600 so they don't. They don't. Or just because they don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. They don't think it's important. And then there's people that risk their lives to come here and will never have that opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got a panther, you got an alligator. Mm -hmm. You got... Now the alligator, I think, is a wrap. It's not a pain. I really like this part right here. With the yeah. fish and the... Yeah. Houses and trees. Atlantis yeah. coastline. Yeah, it's like all the minerals. It's like the history of the area. It tells you the whole history. Like this is uh, the people that came from Alabama to start the farms that failed. Mm -hmm. I love Bonita though, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the majority of these people are just good, hardworking people. Now you do have a few bad apples, just like of any group, you know. Mm -hmm. But the vast majority is just the hardworking people, man. Yeah. Like I've lived in Bonita and like. Now they'll victimize each other. That's yeah. what's interesting is about these groups is they'll, they'll victimize each other, but they won't victimize somebody who's not from their own group. Yeah. So like if you're American here, you're pretty safe, but if you're one of them, it's actually not that safe for them. I've always really liked Benita and wanted to live in Benita. Well, you could. You could buy one of these apartments. I looked at them. They were really nice. Oh, really? But they're about $2,000. Yeah. I don't know if I I like Bonita, but dang, I don't know if I like a two thousand dollars a month that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really like. Oh, was that the pool? This thing is two thousand dollars a month, bro. Two thousand dollars a month. But they they're nice. They're nicer than all the other ones we've seen. Really. Yeah. Pool, fitness center, yeah. dog park. And the and the lady that. Oh, I could have her. a little dog. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I can fulfill my caringness with like a little chihuahua um, no, or like a little absolute, pomeranian and a little bag. Absolutely <laughs> never happening. Absolutely <laughs> not. Don't even joke about it. A little pug. Get a job first. Even if you have a job, okay. we travel too much to have an animal. No. Yeah. You're lucky if you get a beta fish. Yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, you know, you don't like when, that. When you had animals, you didn't take care of them. No, I'm not gonna do that. I saw you treat the animals you had. What, what, what happened no. to Max? You wouldn't even feed Max, bro. You didn't. I even, did. You did not even feed Max, bro. I'm not gonna get an animal piece for you to not even take care of it. Absolutely not. Animals are not like toys. Where you can just get them and we don't want them anymore. You don't take care of them. No, not happening. Absolutely not. I saw you taking care of the animals you had in the past. You get all. Government came and took my baby with them. Of course they took him. You weren't taking care of it. Jose, mm -hmm. that's horrible. It's horrible that you do that. I agree. It's horrible <laughs> that you would say that. It's horrible that you would do that. I'm not the horrible one for saying it. It's horrible that you would do it. How am I horrible for saying it? You're horrible for doing it. Hi, Hello, Mayhu. I don't care. You're not getting an animal. You know you're not. Why would you even start this conversation on camera? I don't want one. <coughs> but I was saying I could fulfill my care potential. I, I would say you would fulfill your animal abuse potential. That's the crap you would fulfill. No. I've seen the way you treat animals. I'm not getting an animal. I don't want one. I don't want to take care of anything. I don't even want to take care of myself after no, that. I can see that. <laughs> I can definitely see that. That's what I've been trying to say. No animals. But no, it's really nice. But crap, $2,000 a month? You're allergic to them, so why would I get one? You don't even care about me. Why would you care about the animal? <laughs> In the process of getting an animal, you're showing disregard for me. And for yourself because you travel too much. Yeah. No, I'm not getting an animal. Where's the notion that an animal lives inside the house? Animals go, dogs go outside, bro. That's the way they're meant to be. Who was the first person to be like, I want a dog inside the house? I know, an American in 19 something, because for the last 4,000 years of human existence, animals have lived outside the house and they bark at strangers. Then in like 19 something, somebody was like, a Karen, oh, it's gonna get cold. A Karen in Massachusetts was like, maybe we should bring a dog inside the house and play with it like it's a human. And then 10 years later, the dog had more rights than a human. Think about it. You hit a human, 
you might get six weeks. You hit an animal, who knows what will happen to you. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? I mean, the explanation is obviously the animal doesn't have the right to defend itself, and the human does, so that's why. Yeah. Anyways, great conversations here.